One, two, three, four, five. Once I got a fish alive. Why did you let it go? Because it beat my finger so. But now we're doing it this way. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Why did you let it go? Because it beat my finger so. It's your teacher, Anunciata. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. We have been counting numbers and we are counting numbers in ones. Now, this time round, we did the forward counting and we did very well. We are just doing one, two, three. Who can remind me? When we, I talk about forward, what does the word forward mean? Forward means moving to the direction you are seeing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. But now, we want to do counting in ones, yes, but using a number line and backward. What is a number line? A number line is a line with numbers. As you can see, I have my number line on the board. It has numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So someone tells me, from number nine, from number nine, count. So the question is, from number nine, count six steps backward count six step backward and we said when someone says move in the forward direction i will move facing the direction but i am supposed to count in the backward direction i am not facing the direction that's why i am very careful when i am moving so that i might not fall so the question says from which number from number nine, which means our starting number is nine. How many steps am I supposed to move? I am supposed to move how many steps? Six steps. Six steps backward. And the question is, you stop at, you stop at, remember we are counting in ones, but now this time in the backward direction. So I will come and put a mark on my starting number, which is nine and they have said st starting at nine so how many steps i am going one step number one two step number two three step number three four five six so from nine count six steps backward where did i stop at yes janet Teacher, you stopped at three. So from number nine, count three steps backward. The teacher will stop at three. Very good. The same question can be asked. From number seven, count four steps backward. From number seven, count four steps backward. Why is my number seven? My number seven is here. So your starting number is seven. So from number seven, four steps backward. This is one, two, three, four. Do you know why I'm using a different pen? So that you don't confuse. The first question where it says from number nine, count six steps backward. But now you see the answer is still the same. I've counted from number seven. How many steps? I've counted step one, step two, step three, and step four. Here, I counted step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, and step six. Now, do you know you can play this game <coughs> at home using your tiles? Just label your tiles very well, very nice. Then you're saying, counting forward, you are moving, facing the direction. So you went one, two, three, four, five. And they say from number five, count two steps backward. So if my five is here and I'm supposed to count two steps backward, I'll just go, this is five and that is four and that is three. Remember you have marked the tiles or even outside there. So you just go 
one. When I count one step backward from number five, I will come to number four. And when I count another one step backward from number four, I will come to number three. So if the question is from number five, count two steps backward. What will be my answer? Remember number five was there, number four is here, and where I am is number three. So my answer is number three. So continue playing this game with your friends, with your guardians, with your sisters, with your brothers, and you will see the way it's very fun. Remember the game we played when I showed you how we are playing these games like this, and you draw like this, and you're skipping. We said when you go like this, you start one, two, three, four, then there was the fifth one here, five. Then you count six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you move from one, you go to two, to three, to four, to five, to six, to seven, to eight, to nine, to ten. This is when you are counting forward. But now if you're counting backward, you'll come from ten to nine, nine to eight, eight to seven, seven to six, six to five, four, three, two, one. So if you're given and you're told, fill in the missing numbers. And the numbers here are nine dash seven dash five. Will you be able to fill in? Look at our number line. We say we don't of we don't overturn the number line. The number line remains the same. What will change is the direction in which you're moving in. If you're moving to the forward direction, just move the way the number line is. If you're moving to the backward direction, come back from where you started from, from, and that is number one. So you just say nine. So before nine, which number was there? Eight. Before eight, which number is there? Seven. Before number seven, which number is there? Six. And you'll find out that you'll find it very easy to fill in the missing numbers and especially when you're using the number line. And counting in one is the easiest. That one does not have even a formula. You just have to know. After one, I go to two. We did the rot counting. I showed you how to write these numbers. I showed you how to read them. Now it should be very easy for you to count forward in ones and backward in ones. I'm very grateful to seeing you this day and I hope to see you in the next lesson. Thank you.